Hey everyone, uh, we are going to be doing something a little bit special today. Uh, I know, Ezzy, I know, you want to eat Hedwig, you want to eat Hedwig. Uh, since uh, Rachel and I are, are big time uh, Harry Potter fans, I know that I'm like way more of a fan than Rachel is. Um, I'm we, the one wearing a Harry Potter shirt. She actually is wearing a Harry Potter jersey, uh, a Quidditch jersey. Uh, to be exact. We are going to take some time to sort all of the cats here at CARE into the uh, uh, four different houses of Hogwarts. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a discussion. It's going to be a, uh, probably a bit of a, of a debate, you know, but I think that we'll come to a consensus. And basically the way that it's going to work out is that we've got the four houses and then we have to have like a relative, of, like even amount by the time this whole thing is done, we have to have everything kind of even uh, amongst all that, all the houses. So that means that we're going to have to talk and reach consensus and compromise. And basically, uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. All right. So beforehand, uh, I wrote down all of the cats uh, on my list, and Rachel wrote down all the cats on her list. And we actually both individually sorted all of the cats as we saw, as we think. And we don't know what's on each other's list. We we haven't seen each other's list, and we're going to we're going to discuss it now. So, how do you want to do it? You want to just kind of just kind of go around? Yeah, that's how I did it. I did it from like enclosure to. Enclosure. I literally I did the same thing. Okay. Yeah, I did the same thing where I just mentally started with Noe, and then I just kind of mm. did the circuit. Yeah. So I guess we can start with Noe. Uh, what did uh, What did you put down? I put Noel in Hufflepuff. You put Noel in Hufflepuff. Yeah. Interesting. What interesting. I put her in Gryffindor. Why? I uh, just because, because she's I, a lion. No, no, no. It's not just because she's a lion. Okay, because we've got other lions, and there's going to be other lions in different houses. It's not just because she's a lion. It's because I think that she's got that kind of you know brave, go get them attitude and everything. But Hufflepuffs are very, um, they're very like they are very playful. They're humble. I feel like she would be humble. I don't think she's humble. I think she's a little bit kind of into herself. But that would be like a Ravenclaw. Ravenclaws are into themselves. Hmm. Yeah. And we didn't even agree on the first cat. <laughs> <laughs> we All right. A long okay. discussion. All right. So let's. I, I think that what we should do is we should just try to go through the list as quickly as possible and we'll just try to figure out which ones that we do agree on. Okay. And then the ones that we agree on, we'll just pop them up on the board and then, you know, the ones that we don't agree on, we're going to have to kind of talk it out. Okay. So I'm going to put a little star next to Noel. Okay. Goodness. Uh, next one, Selena. What did you have Selena on there? Uh, I put her in Slytherin. Okay, see, I knew we were going to have this debacle because she, like, you guys have that thing. I put Selena under Gryffindor. Are you? <laughs> but she doesn't do that thing with me that she does with you. She is a Slytherin. She's, She's definitely she not a Slytherin. Yes, she is. She's not cunning at all. She is cunning and sneaky. No, she is brave. And she will fight for others. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I uh, understand. I understand, but I, I understand where you're coming from. And, like, it's not to say the Slytherins can't be brave. Slytherins can totally be brave. Yeah, it's just, like, brave kind of towards their own all. their own devices, their own purposes. See, I, yeah, she's not cunning. Okay, star next to <laughs> Selena. Okay, Naya Shanti. I guess let's start off with Naya. What do you have with Naya? Gryffindor. Gryffindor. I put her in Hufflepuff. What do you have for Shanti? Oh my gosh, I have Shanti and Slytherin. Yeah! Yay! Yeah! The first one! Shanti is in Slytherin. Shanti gets a Finally. circle. Finally, we've got someone. <laughs> all right, all right. Next, uh, Kanapali. I have Polly and Gryffindor. I have Kanapali and Gryffindor as well. Okay. All right, there we go. Now we're making some. Progress? We're making progress. We're making progress. Uh, next, Bobby. Bobby, yeah, Bobby and Hufflepuff. Yeah, Bobby and Hufflepuff. Huh? I actually have Bobby in Ravenclaw. Really? Yeah, because she's kind of got that Luna kind of like, kind of. She's kind of strange, a little bit kind of flighty and a little bit, you know, off. Yeah, off. but Ravenclaws are very not that she's not. 
smart, but they're very like intelligent and sure. And sometimes it can be a little bit kind of quirky, a little bit strange. That's Bobby. That's Bobby. I don't think so. I think she's. It's all wrong. <sighs> all right, all right. Star next to Bobby. Okay, now we got Max and Mia. Who uh, put Max at? Max Gryffindor. All right, got there. You go, Max Gryffindor. All that right. was like so easy. Was that like, was easy. What about Mia? Uh, Mia, Mia, Mia. Oh, uh, I put Mia in Hufflepuff. What? Yes! I put her in Slytherin. Really? She is the evilest cat probably <laughs> out here. I can't believe you put her in Hufflepuff. She yeah. does not belong in my house. Yes, she does. Take her out. She's sweet. She's a sweetie. She's just misunderstood. Probably because, like, you know, someone, like, you know, didn't put the muffins in at the right temperature, and she's like, oh, the muffins. <laughs> Star <laughs> next to Mia. I was like, we'll definitely agree on Mia. Okay, Obviously. so now we've got the now we've got the leopards. Uh, uh, Milo, Ace, Cassie, and Raven. Uh, I guess let's start with Raven. I put her in Ravenclaw, not because of the name, but I put her in Ravenclaw as well. There we go. I put her in Ravenclaw as well. Where'd you put Milo? I put Milo in Slytherin. Same. There we go. <laughs> Same. Yep. Yep. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. Uh, Ace. Ravenclaw. I put him in Gryffindor. Really? Yeah, because I, it's almost kind of like he's a kind of a serious black kind of character. I mean, serious oh. was in Gryffindor. He's kind of got that rough exterior, but he's actually really good at heart. You know, like, he's that's kind of how I saw him. Yeah. Um, so, okay. See. Ace star next to Ace. Cassie. Hufflepuff. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, yep, me too. Me too. Oh, did we talk about Naya and Shanti yet? Yeah. What did we say for them? Uh, we, well, we agreed on Shanti. What about Naya? We didn't agree because I okay. said Gryffindor. Yeah, and I said Hufflepuff. That's right. Okay. Just going through. Uh, okay, I guess the four babies. Uh, JP, Jake, Aluchia, and Luca. These were so easy for me. So, really? Yeah. Did you? They were a little bit difficult for me. Oh, I was just like, they were the first ones I put down. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I guess we'll start with uh, Luca. Slytherin. I put Luca in Gryffindor. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's like a Weasley. Like, he's like one of the Weasleys. Lu Luca? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, he's tricksy. He's like, he's like, you know, doing pranks. And he's just like, ah, I got you. No. <laughs> Disagree on that. Okay, star next to Luca. What about JP? I put JP in Gryffindor. Okay. Okay, JP is in Gryffindor. What about JP? I put Jake in Hufflepuff. Yeah. Yeah. He's a sweetie. <laughs> He's a sweetie. What about Alucia? I put Alucia in Ravenclaw. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. So we skipped over Solano. Oh, there. Yeah, that's right. We he was like one Solano. of the hardest ones for me. He was actually kind of easy for me. What did you put him easy. under? Put him under Slytherin. See? I, I see I was bouncing <laughs> ideas off Nick and I was like, I think he's a Slytherin and she said Hufflepuff. What? Yeah. No, so. no, 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 no. Okay, let's say Slytherin because I knew it. Yeah, trust your gut. Trust your gut. She's not even a big Harry Potter fan. I shouldn't have been <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Because uh, he's kind of got that whole, what, Crab and Goyle kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, he's not very smart. Not the smartest and everything. He could probably be pretty easily influenced by like someone who's just like, yeah, like, oh, go, and, like go smash their heads in. He's like, okay. <laughs> I think he's like, I'll do that. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we got, um, we got these three. We've mm -hmm. got uh, Mika. Zara, Mika, and Ezzy. Mika Mika. What did I say for Mika? Uh, I put her in Ravenclaw. She is a Slytherin through and through. She is not a Slytherin. She is very smart and she is very. Slytherins can be very smart. Independent. 
and so then she be independent. She's just she kind of evil. She's mad. Have you been seeing her following Ezra mm -hmm. around? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she wants to be a friend. She no. wants to have intellectual discussions with him. She wants to be able. She wants to be able to like you know bandy back and forth like you know spells and potions and stuff like that theories on stuff of that yeah. nature. She's antagonizing him. Mm -mm. Okay, star next to Mika. Star next to Mika. Uh, what about Zizi? Zara. I put her in Ravenclaw. You put her in Ravenclaw. I put her in Slytherin. <laughs> Because she is the feisty one. She can be like the bitey one. She can be kind of like, Bleh. I can, I, I, okay, all right. I can see how Mika can be an antagonizer. Mm -hmm. Okay, all She's right. She's like that little sister. All right. So Mika and Slytherin? I would say Mika and Slytherin. I would say Zara and Ravenclaw. Are those official? So we need to go back. I will agree with Mika being in Slytherin, but I still have to think about Zara in Ravenclaw. Fair enough. What about Ezra? Hufflepuff. They put him in Gryffindor. Really? Because I think he's like a Ron, or like a Neville Longbottom right now. Oh, sure. Because and he hasn't got his footing in here yet, and then okay. he's going to blossom. And he's going to like turn into yeah. like a hunky underwear model exactly <laughs> all right all right uh, okay I'll go with that I'll go with that Ezra is in Riven Dewar okay so now we go over to I guess uh, we'll start on the lower maybe this side yeah yep. okay uh, Allie and Archie. Um, I put Allie and Ravenclaw. Okay. I put Allie and Gryffindor. I put Archie and Gryffindor. I put Archie and Gryffindor as well. Okay. They were they were the only couple. They were the really? only couple for me that 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 made it that made it and everything. So star next to Allie. But we agree on Archie. Uh, Layla. Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. I actually put Layla in Hufflepuff. Really? Yeah. And I think she's just sweet. I think that she she's had her you know moments and everything, but I think that for the most part she just is a very agreeable girl. You know, um, she had her issues with Noe. It wasn't because of Layla. It was because of her. I was just thinking Ravenclaw because you know she's so smart about locking up. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So she, just, right. she knows things. Or like if you try and give her a pill, she'll spit it out. She knows things. All right. All right. So you're putting a star next to her? I'll go with you on this one. I'll go with you on this Maybe one. But you're going to have to concede some of my points because I've already given you like three or four. Maybe because I'm right? <laughs> uh, okay. Like, let's just like pump the brakes on that. Pump the, pump the brakes on your flying car. Sydney and Rasta. Uh, Sydney is in Slytherin. I have her in Gryffindor, but where do you have Rasta? I have Rasta in Hufflepuff. Yeah. Okay. okay. But, Let's just yeah. put a star next to Sydney. Okay. Let's put a star next to Sydney. We'll come back to it. Come back to it. And the next one is, I guess that would be Nadal and Diwali. Or do you want to go up to like Tess and then move down from there? Whichever. Okay, let's start with Tess. She was another hard one for me, but I said Ravenclaw. I put her in Ravenclaw as well. All right, Tess is in Ravenclaw. Because I, I just think that she's just got, I think she's smart. I think she's got a lot of, a lot of stuff going on up here. Mm -hmm. Melita. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ravenclaw. I put her in Slytherin. She's not a Slytherin. She's kind of a Slytherin. No. 
She's kind of I think slithering. she also has a lot going this... on up here, and she can't just decipher it all the way. Okay, and one thing we have to talk about, because everyone basically knocks on Slytherin, and basically they say just like, oh, if you're a Slytherin, then you might as well just be Hitler, you fascist. <laughs> no. Okay, but... They're like, yeah, they're like wizard Nazis. They get a bad rap. They get a bad rap. And... Uh, just because they happen to be the cause of pretty much like all of like the mass wizard genocide in like the past couple centuries doesn't mean that they're a bad house. I mean, necessarily. They have a lot of negative things about them. Yeah, you know, a Snape. He was a Slytherin. He's he was a hero. also a jerk to everyone. Okay, he was a jerk, but he was a hero. He still had like ultimate moral character, and he that's the thing that matters. People to, like that, students that's emotionally. The thing that matters most is yeah. that he ultimately had the moral character to do the right thing. I don't know if that matters most. Uh -huh. He like, tortured so many innocent people. Mm -mm. I know that 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 hurt a few feelings, but in the grand scheme hurt of things, hurt a few feelings. It hurt a few feelings, but in the grand uh. scheme of things. He saved lives. Saved lives. Okay? Balance. We gotta talk about balance over here. Uh -huh. I know that your awful pop sensibilities can't wrap your head around it, but my Ravenclaw intuition. I still don't know if you're a true Ravenclaw. I am. I'm going to take the test again. I am a pretty solid Ravenclaw. I don't believe that. Anyway, it's, I can logic, I can logic okay, myself but I also out of situations. Sometimes we're looking at these, like, tigers and we're like well they could be grumpy sometimes and they're a slytherin like yeah they're a tiger so they're gonna hiss at us like you're saying melita because she gets grumpy at men so she's a slytherin no yeah no 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 yeah. no 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 why, no why did you put uh selena in slytherin <laughs> <laughs> no because, because she that no, no. I, that's a way more compelling because she she really does like kind of sneak and she is like sly and she hides behind stuff and she is just like, I am going to do violent things in a in a concerted direction. Like I am I am going to be cunning. Like that I would definitely I can concede that Melita might not be a Slytherin, but I will die on the Selena is a Slytherin hill. She is not a Slytherin. Selena is a Slytherin. She, she only does she that to got you though. Dipped in a vat of Slytherin juice, and that's who she is. Call up JK and just be like, come out here and meet this tiger. You decide. <laughs> JK, yeah. just text her. Yeah, just say, like, hey, what's up? Like, oh, hello, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's how she sounds. Melita. Um, Melita. Okay, All we're right. gonna put a star next to Melita. We're gonna put a star next to Melita. Fire. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Why do you say Gryffindor? Mm, there was a reason. Because I actually kind of viewed her as a little bit more of like a Neville Longbottom and everything. She kind of got pushed around by Melita for a lot of years and whatnot. Yep, but then she just moved out. Yeah. So she was just like, you know, I feel like this is going to be better for us all. You know, so I'm gonna move out. Or maybe fires like Harry, and then like Melita was like, were, was like the Dursleys. Put a star next to fire. <laughs> uh, Bonnie. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. All right. At least we can agree on a few things. <laughs> Not many. We've got a few. We've got a few. We've got a few. Uh, okay. So that actually, that's all. That's like the full, like main, like you Need know, upper and lower. And now we got to go to Need the lower, the lower. Oh, Nadal. That's right. Nadal and Diwali. I have them both in Gryffindor. Uh, I have Nadal in Gryffindor. Okay. Right. And then I have Diwali in Ravenclaw. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I think he's that smart. I just think he is. I, I think he's got a little bit. A filler spot. No, 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 no. I think he's got a little bit more kind of going on. Um, I think Nadal is is very kind of what you see is what you get kind of thing. Um, and then Diwali's got a little bit more kind of complexity. I think that's just my take on it. I agree with that. Yeah. All right. See everyone. 
My one that I'm letting go. There you go. Thank you. Thank Diwali you so much. Yep. So Diwali is in Ravenclaw. Okay, moving on to the lower lower. So the upper did the lower, now we're going to do the lower lower. We've got uh, Arali and Zubiri. Zubiri is a Hufflepuff through and through. I have him as a Hufflepuff too. Zubiri is a Hufflepuff. Yep. He is a sweet boy. Just sweet, 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 sweet. Did we agree that Rasa was a Hufflepuff? Yes. Alright, what do you have for Arali? I have uh, I have him in Slytherin. Correct. Yep. <laughs> he's you know he's uh, he's kind of into power. That's uh, that's kind of his thing. That's kind of his thing. And now we got Boomer Slade. What do you have then? Uh. I have one in Slytherin and I have one in Ravenclaw. Do you have Boomer in Slytherin? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. I they were also like I knew Boomer was going to be in Sly or Slytherin. Yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. Okay. And I actually ended up putting Slade in Slytherin too. Really? I did. Interesting. I didn't think I don't think he's a Slytherin. I had like a hard time. This was because he was one of the last ones I did, and it was like. I think he's kind of, actually he's he could either be in Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw or, or possibly even Gryffindor. well. He might not even be a Gryffindor. He might actually be like a Hufflepuff. Yeah, he was one that was like a mix. He it's was it's really hard. hard. That's a hard one. I don't think I don't think he's a full Hufflepuff. Because Isn't there a theory that, like, if you're kind of, like, ambiguous... That you go to Hufflepuff? No, that oh. you actually go to... If you go to Gryffindor. Well, I think it's the Gryffindors are the ones that choose to be Gryffindor. Kind of like that. I don't know if he chooses choose to be Gryffindor. I don't know. You don't think that he would choose to kind of be with, like, the cool kids? He's pretty cool. He's so handsome. But that's why I'm thinking Ravenclaw, because one of Ravenclaw's things, and they're, they're the most beautiful. Okay. Alright, so Slade is in Ravenclaw then? Yeah. Alright, Slade's in Ravenclaw. And then we have Apollo and Makai. I have one in Ravenclaw and one in Slytherin. I have one in Ravenclaw and one in Hufflepuff. What? You put one of those in Hufflepuff? Yeah. You put Makai in Hufflepuff? I did. I put him in Slytherin. Really? <laughs> Why did you put Lakai in Slytherin? I know he, he's very oh, cunning. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Anyone who said just because they're a little bit mean to you sometimes doesn't mean that they go into Slytherin. All right. Like you try locking them up at any point. <laughs> they both are cunning and are in Slytherin. <laughs> but no, I do think Apollo is a Ravenclaw. Okay. Well, Apo right? Yep, Apollo is in Ravenclaw. I, I don't know. We'll put a star next to Lakai. Okay. Put a star next to Lakai. Yeah, we're going to do the house cats. <laughs> yeah. We also did the house cats. We also did the house cats. So that means that we've got Piper, Riku, we've got Bagheera, and we've got Richard Parker. So four. Which actually... Mm, did you put one in each? I did. Me too. I put one in each. And I bet you that we're probably... Yeah. Yeah. Where'd okay. you put Piper? I put Piper in Gryffindor. I did not put Piper in Gryffindor. Hmm. She is not brave at all. Really? She's scared of everything. Okay. I put her in Ravenclaw. Okay. I put Riku in Ravenclaw. <laughs> I put her in Hufflepuff. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why would... I, is this a joke? You know Ravenclaws are smart, right? <laughs> I think I there's nothing going on in there. Can you, Nicole, can you grab Riku, please? Can you just bring her so that people can see? What? Okay. 
Was it like Professor Trelawney, a Hufflepuff, or not? A, or she was a Ravenclaw? Wasn't she a Ravenclaw? I don't know. Or again, it's like that kind of. Look at her. Like that Luna Lovegood, you know. Yeah, but Luna Lovegood was smart. I mean, look at her. Don't we know about her past? Yeah, she's gotten into a couple of enclosures. <laughs> All right, go ahead and, yeah. There you, go. That way. There you go, baby. Um, okay. All right. <laughs> so, All right. you had bags. She's not, she's not, okay, Riku is not Ravenclaw. We'll just, I'll say that. She's not Ravenclaw. Wait, so who did you have, you had bags in Slytherin? Yes. Okay. All right, so we at least agreed on Bagheera being in Slytherin. You had Parker in Hufflepuff? Yes! I had him in, uh, Gryffindor. Really? Yeah. He's not exactly brave. I think he's way braver than Piper. If we let Piper out right now, she wouldn't go past the concrete. Okay, how about Piper in Ravenclaw, uh, uh, Richard Parker in Gryffindor, and then Riku in Hufflepuff? Yeah, so all of mine. Is that I said? No. I was correct. Yeah. No. Riku, Hufflepuff, Gryffindor. No, 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 no. Actually, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, uh, no. Um, Riku in Gryffindor, Piper in Ravenclaw, and then Richard Parker stays in Hufflepuff. Because Riku, like, she, yeah, you're right. She's dumb as a box of rocks, but she she is stupid and brave. She is stupid and brave. She is stupid and brave. She's gone into enclosures multiple times. Fine. I'll give you Savannah? Uh, I thought that we did. Oh, no, we didn't. I skipped her when I made this look. Yeah, I know. She, oh, uh, that, that sucks. She's, I hate, I don't, okay. I don't want to say that she's. And we didn't do, oh, we did do both. I don't want to say that she's forgettable. But, like, Savannah's just kind of one, like, she's just, she's so just kind of even keel. Yeah. Of a cat that it's easy just to kind of, you know, she's not animated. She doesn't have any, she's not flashy. Anything. She's just Savannah. She's just Savannah. Okay. I, I had Savannah in Ravenclaw. I did as well. There you go. All right. All right. I think that, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. Okay, so that's 13 cats that we did not agree upon and that we have not we have not made decisions about yet. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, in step than maybe what was you know we were originally thinking it would be. So there you go. Um, one, two, three. We're gonna have to make some decisions. <laughs> when I made this list originally, I had a lot more like Gryffindor was the one that I had, like put Captain more first. And now it looks like Ravenclaw. That's actually the that was the one that I filled up the last Ravenclaw. Yeah. Yeah. Ravenclaw, yeah. But Gryffindor was the first one I filled up. I think that Hufflepuff was the first one that I filled up. Really? Mm hmm I kind of just like went for like, just like the, the sweeties, you know, and then just kind of put them in there. Put them all in there. Because the Hufflepuff's the best house. I mean, they're the most agreeable house. I'm not insulting you. You got. <laughs> All right. Noel. Would you have her eyes again? Hufflepuff. You had her as Gryffindor. I had her as Gryffindor. And what was your case again? I just think that she's. I think that she's brave. I think that she puts herself out there. Uh, I know that she's very sweet. Very thing. Um, you know. Uh, so that's. Like, she's animated, and that's the other thing. Is that they're kind of, you know, they're flashy and like she plays, she plays with her ball. She's athletic and stuff like what about that. Cedric Diggory. 
He was a Hufflepuff. Is he a Hufflepuff? Yep. Yeah, he was. Yeah. But he's dead. No, he's alive. You know who also was a Gryffindor? Peter Pettigrew. He's none of these characteristics that you're saying. Mm. Mm. See, I can make valid points, people. He's just throwing words around. That's not true. It's not true. I'm making valid points, okay? I know the lore. Maybe not as much as some nerds, but okay. Like, I do understand what I'm talking about. Mm. All right. So, Noel. <laughs> Fine, I guess we'll put her in Gryffindor. I think that she's a good fit in Gryffindor. I yeah, just do. Whatever. <laughs> All right, Luca. He's one? a Slytherin. All right. I'll give you that. I will give you that. <laughs> I'll give you that one. I'll give you a Slytherin. What about Bobby? You think she's a Hufflepuff? I truly think she's a Hufflepuff. I, I still think that she's just kind of a weird kind of Luna Lovegood kind of thing. You know, that's just kind of what I, I feel. But, we, but Okay, we can't just look at a character and be like, you look like you're a Luna. Okay, that's true. That's true. It's got to be characteristic, something that would... She is very sweet. She's like incredibly just like, yeah, I want to love. Bobby and I are just like... All right. Okay. All right. All right. Awful pop. All right, Mia. Uh, I had Mia in Hufflepuff. She's and you... not. <laughs> oh my God, she's okay. Look at Mia and then look at Bobby. True. <laughs> okay, fair point. Fair point. I don't think she's a Slytherin. I a don't think Ravenclaw? she's a Ravenclaw. Mm. I don't know if she's a Ravenclaw. She's either. not a Gryffindor. Actually, no, she might be a raven. Yes, she no. No, no. I think Mia could be a raven claw. Or a Slytherin? I, I just don't think she's a Slytherin. I think that she's kind of got like a little bit of like stuff. I okay. can see, I can see raven claw because I can see her being like, I'm better than people. Like, but that's also a Slytherin characteristic, you know, like, good That's true. That's true. Okay, let's, let's, let's circle back to Mia. We'll double star Mia. Okay, uh, Naya. What do you have, Red? Gryffindor. I had her in Hufflepuff. I had her in Hufflepuff. But I can, I can, I, I didn't really, I didn't have like a huge reason for why mm -hmm. I put her into Hufflepuff. So, sure, we can put her in Gryffindor. Okay. You make a, a stronger case because you actually make a case. <laughs> I have no case. I'm just like, yeah, just toss her in there. Toss her in with the other Hufflepuffs. They don't mind. It's true. We take all. Yeah. Pretty much. We'd be like, welcome. We have muffins. What is with the muffins? I feel like cookies are Muffins way just seems like such a Hufflepuff thing. I mean, they're just, they're mushy. They're kind of sweet, you know, kind but they're not. Sweet. Yeah, they're, but they're, it's like they're mushy, they're sweet. They're not like decadent like a cupcake or something like that. You know, they're a little bit more kind of like, oh no, but they're kind of still good for you. And it's like, not really, but okay. They kind of delude themselves. I don't know. Just saying stuff now. Yeah. All right, Selena. Selena. Slither. I will never agree that Selena is a Slytherin. I would put her in a Raven, like Ravenclaw. If you don't agree with Gryffindor, I will never, ever, ever agree with that. We will stay out here all night, but I will never agree with that. Exactly. No, he says Slytherin. No. That's what he said. No. Yeah. Double star. <laughs> Double star. You're drawing lines in the sand right now. Oh, Zara. Would you have her in Hufflepuff? No, I had her in Slytherin. I mean, I guess we can say she's Slytherin. What did you say? Ravenclaw. You said Ravenclaw? I mean, I don't see Ravenclaw so much. I, I, I would see her more of a Gryffindor, to be honest. I would see Slytherin over Ravenclaw, or Gryffindor. You'd see her as Gryffindor over Slytherin? No, Slytherin over Gryffindor. You would see her as a Slytherin over Gryffindor? Yeah, so we could go so Slytherin. I had her as a Ravenclaw, but I would see her, uh, see her as a Slytherin over a Gryffindor. Okay. So we could put her on Slytherin. We'll put her in Slytherin. Melita. You made a you made a compelling point about Melita not being able to, you know, control herself 
and she's not exactly cunning, she just can't help who she is, which is not a necessarily a character. It's like, okay, just because she can sometimes be a little aggressive. I think she's pretty smart. I think she's smart too. You said Ravenclaw? Yeah. I did say Ravenclaw. Alright, we'll put Melita in Ravenclaw. Allie. Okay, I had Allie in Ravenclaw. We don't have her up there, right? Nope. Because let's just think about locking cats up and how difficult it is. She knows the drill by now. She does it every single four days. That's a crazy. And we have to literally lure her out by throwing pieces of chicken in to go into the same lockdown to that she's been in for how many? Like she's smart. She just wants the extra chicken. Okay, is that is that a smart thing, or is it just because it's like, what am I supposed to do, guys? No, she is smart. Where am I supposed? Where, where, where am I supposed to go? She's smart. And then, like, if Allie and Archie are like having a little bicker, and then you turn around and go away, you she goes back and like pops him on the butt because she knows you're got your turn around. Our Ravenclaw list is 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 pretty big already, though. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good, ten. Very good, ten. It can have one more. That's it. That's it. Eleven's the limit. So if we put Allie on there, it's the last Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw is done. Okay, no more Ravenclaw. That's the last one on my list. So that's the, okay. So, all right. We can put Allie in Ravenclaw. That's fine. We did skip over Ace. Yeah. Yeah, Ace. Uh, I had him at Gryffindor. Would you have him at? I did have Ravenclaw, but I can see Gryffindor because when you said like uh, Sirius Black, yep, I can see that. I okay, cool. So Ace goes into Gryffindor. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and cross off Ravenclaw. Just can't put any more in there. How many do we have in? Ten. We have one more in Gryffindor. So it's ten, ten, Look and... Look at our Hufflepuff list. It's so eleven, small. eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Oh, boy. Maybe fire should go into Hufflepuff. But don't just throw her in there because we need someone. No, 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 no. I think that... Didn't you have her in there anyway? I did, but I don't want you to just throw her in no, there. No, I'm not throwing... No, 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 no. No, when you were talking about it and I kind of looked at it, I'm like, okay, well, she's not exactly like Gryffindor material. She's not definitely not She's definitely Hufflepuff. Okay. I just want it known. Wait. Oh, never mind. What? Nothing. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's just sitting there, just growling. Sydney. I had her in Slytherin. What'd you have her in? Gryffindor. As a Hufflepuff. I guess he's a Hufflepuff. He's a sweet guy. He's it's sweet just misunderstood. Boy. Sweet but misunderstood. So that leaves our double stars. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, Gryffindor and Ravenclaw are Dunskies. Dunskies. So we've got Mia and Selena. Who both, or Mia absolutely belongs in Slytherin. Okay. One belongs in Slytherin, one belongs in Hufflepuff. That's how the game's gotta be. Okay, I feel like it's an obvious choice. <laughs> uh, I think it's an obvious choice. Mia is a Slytherin. Uh, mm, Selena is a Slytherin. No. Yeah. You're so wrong. I am not. I am not wrong. 
It's Selena. Okay, it's like I said, a Mia versus Bobby. Bobby's in Hufflepuff. You think Mia and Bobby are the same? No. Okay. Okay. But compared... I think Selena and Bobby are more similar with their uh, characteristics. If you put Selena uh, in a fight against Mia, like, Selena would totally win. Okay, well, that's stupid. <laughs> So she's Slytherin. Selena's like Voldemort. Selena is the tiger that shall be not be named. Shall be not be named. Whatever. Uh, and the thing about it though is that she's so sneaky. She really is sneaky. She hides. She hides and then she. Sneaky is not a characteristic. It's it's a it's okay. indicative of cunning. No. Okay. No. No. You're wrong. She's a tiger. Tigers are supposed to be sneaky. She is like. To us, to a hyped up, supercharged, steroid ridden degree. No. Yeah. You're wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm very right because I'm a Ravenclaw and we're always right. Also, Dahlia would be in Slytherin. You think? No, Dahlia would not be in yeah, Slytherin. Yeah, she hurts people for fun. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa. I think Yolo would be Whoa, no. in Ravenclaw. Yolo would be in Ravenclaw. I agree with that. Yolo would be in Ravenclaw. Dahlia is definitely a Slytherin. She is not. She's not a Slytherin. Okay, you're only saying that because she's weird with you. She's weird with you. She loves ah, No, me. no, no. She is weird with the majority of people. Hi, Dolly. <laughs> she's looking at us okay, right now. Okay, Mia is Slytherin. Selena is Hufflepuff. Okay, kidding. who's read the books more? Who's watched the movies more? Who's gone to more premieres? Okay, so I win. <laughs> Is that how we're gonna decide it? Yeah. No! No! All, all I gotta do is basically just like, you know, pause the video and then like just say like, Oh, I'm Rip, Derek, you're right! You're so right! It's actually me as a Hufflepuff and Selena's a Slytherin! And then I'll win. They, they know I wouldn't agree with that at all. Okay, I think that we are at an impasse. I think that, uh, do you have a black marker? I do. Okay. Can you put... You don't let me touch the board. I'm not going to touch the board. Can you just put at the bottom, Selena, question mark, me a question mark, and then we'll let it, we'll let the viewers decide. Don't make a bad mistake. You know, you know what to do. You know what to do. And, okay, I'll even throw this out there. I'll even throw this out there. You have to understand that you guys come along with me often, all right? You come along with me on my webcast. Don't even! No, 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 You don't know where I'm going to go with this. You know where I, you know how I experience Selena, which, of course, is going to be different than how Rachel experiences Selena. If Rachel, if Rachel had her own webcast, I'm sure it would be much different. I'm sure Selena would probably be all sweet and everything, since I've never seen it. And Mia, even though Mia's mean to me, like, I still think that she's got Hufflepuff characteristics. So don't just base your opinion on, like, like Ra Rachel works with these animals, like, more hours in the week than I do. So keep that in mind. I want to have a balance. Let's have an actual discussion, okay? So Selena, question mark. Mia, question mark. We'll let you guys decide which house do they belong in. All right. I think it was fun. <laughs> I had a good time. What'd you think? Yeah, it was pretty good. I think it was all right. I think it was all right. Let me, uh, hold on. Let me get the, <laughs> let me get my camera. 46 minutes. That's right. Okay. So this is the, that's the list. That's the list. That's what we came up with. That's what Rachel and I, you know, we poured over, we, we talked, we, we compromised, you know, it, on, for the most part, except on those last two, which, I mean, Selena's totally a uh, Slytherin. Mia is a Slytherin! It's <laughs> not true. Not true. Compare anyway. Mia to Bobby. If you guys see similarities, then you're crazy. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this. This was really fun. And uh, let us know what you think in the comment section below. All right. Talk to you later.